Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. My name is Michael Sullivan, business administrator here at FaithBridge, and I'm joined by Dan Slagle, our care and bridging pastor, who just brought us part one of our Joy Full series. Thanks for being here, Dan. Thanks for having me. You just brought us a great message called Joy Through Community, uh, walking through the first chapter of Philippians, those first mm -hmm. few verses as Paul talks about how thankful he is for his community as he's in prison. Uh, a couple of questions that came in. Um, uh, from really two sets of people who might have been listening to okay. the sermon today. So, you know, there are some who came in this morning and, and they might be the person who said, you know, I, I want to take that step. Uh, maybe they walked out uh, into the atrium today, had the boldness to do that, and they picked up that card to go to a grow group for the first time. But they're like, you know what, I know myself and I know this week it's going to be Wednesday and I'm supposed to go and I'm going to cruise up to the house and sure. maybe just go right on by because, yeah. or, you know, get busy. I got something to do. You Conveniently. Know, yeah. Uh, just that fear of stepping into community. What would you say to that person? How do you overcome that fear and engage in community, especially if it's your first time? Yeah. Well, it, absolutely. It, it is a real fear for sure. Um, I think I would have a, a few words of encouragement. The first one would be um, many, many people have done this before you. It's not like you're the first one. Sure. And, and many scared people have, have done it. And uh, I think you can take comfort in the knowledge that you're not venturing into completely new territory, that others have gone and, and lived to tell it mm -hmm. rather happily. Uh, the second thing that I would say is many of the good things that I have experienced in life came with a measure of risk. Hmm. You got to step out there sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I think you will find, though, that the reward far outweighs the potential risk mm -hmm. in this case. Sure. Um, and then a, a third thing that I would say is um, when you don't go, you're not just robbing yourself, you're robbing the larger body hmm. of your participation. You have unique things that God has given you that could be brought to bear on the group and on the larger community here at Faith Bridge. And so uh, open up and be willing to share out of your own life for the, the good of, of other people. Sure, yeah, that's good. Um, what about, you know, there's a second group and that's those who were in the audience today and they've been in grow groups for a while now. They've been actively involved in community, what would you say to them? What's your encouragement to them coming out of today's sermon? What would you hope that they might take away? Well, the first thing I would say is remember the person who is scared. Hmm. You know, make yourself as welcoming and as open as you can possibly be. Hmm. Does your group have the proverbial empty chair hmm. where you are actively seeking people, you're inviting people, uh, no one's having to hunt you down or uh, break in, worse yet, mm -hmm. to a group that's at least emotionally closed, if not technically closed. Uh, be, be the group that you would want if you were in their shoes. Okay. And then the other thing that I would say is talk up group ministry at every opportunity. If, if it is proving to be a blessing in your life and uh, something that is good for you, your marriage, your family, so forth, um, Talk about it. Mm -hmm. Become an apostle of the value of community here. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that will go a long way towards um, not just increasing participation, but also maybe alleviating some of the fears that are out there if it's made a normative mm -hmm. behavior. Well, not just here at FaithBridge, but even in the workplace, you know, so many people are out there living lives of isolation. So yeah. to hear, what did you do this weekend? Well, I spent some time with my grow group. What? What's that? You know, and, <laughs> exactly. And hear that, well, joyful experience that it can be. It's a helpful one to get people to engage. Sure so, thing. Anyway, it can be an evangelism tool as well. Yep. 
But, well, thank you for your great word today, and thank you for joining us on PostScript. We'll be back next week as we continue part two of our joyful series with Pastor Ken. We'll see you then. Thanks for joining us for PostScript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.